Let's get to the Q and A. Did I, I do this right? Yeah, I did. Let me hide this. Ah, no. Could somebody ban sexfind4.com free ladies from your city? I'll ban them. Don't worry. Block user. Well, there's worse scammers out there. So, <laughs> ah, who's this? Loris. Nancy Pelosi, my neighbor, and reports all that to me. Stop busting. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Some people are just natural investors. And it's not Nancy Pelosi. There's, a, there's tons of Republicans and Democrats who are doing the same thing. So I'm not. If you love Nancy Pelosi, sorry. But she's just the most famous one that I can use. And it's not even her. It's her husband. So her husband's the greatest investor, not her. Great. I forgot to say that. Master anything. Rules for thee, but not for me. Exactly. So all these things that we talk about, insider trading and everything else, those are rules for you. But for me in Congress, not, a, not anything that I have to deal with. It's, a, it, it's the same story that we talked about on Coinbase. When those brothers, they got busted for insider information. Look what happened. Well, they're going to go to jail for quite some time. The other guys, maybe a $200 fine. Maybe. And that's pushing it. Yeah. So I usually do my live stream about two or three hours beforehand but uh this whole week's going to be screwed up because i'm doing that uh charity obstacle course for kids and uh, i gotta go out there and do construction and get things done and talk to the guys and mark and all that stuff so sometimes i get late and that's why my face is so red because <laughs> i'm out there and i forget to put sunscreen on rob great to thanks tom hello castle nah Orlando says, Alex resigned as chief operating officer, but he's still a director of Sales Limited, which is the company that holds all the crypto in the UK. As long as he gets out in some way, shape, or form, I'm happy. You know, I wouldn't even mind if he was like a silent partner. Just get him out of the way. Here's a, I'm just going to tell it between, uh, between me and you and the other thousand people that are here, I will never trust Celsius again. And I'll never use anything that they do. So I don't care if he's silent or not. But uh, just remember this, though. Unfortunately, people, people's memories, even my own, are like goldfish. We tend to forget some things. We tend to forgive a little bit too fast sometimes. Sometimes it's good, as it says in the Bible, but sometimes uh, maybe it's, you should hang on to those memories. And I think as time goes on, if Celsius rebrands to Kelvin or Kevin or Kel Kelvin, and Alex is out of the picture, he's a silent partner, in two or three years, people are like, this seems like pretty good pretty good business hmm. Pepich Farm remembers though uh, Mr. Dean says hey Rob any thoughts on Vive company with licensing deal to sell Disney Marvel Star Wars Sapien NFTs I think they're huge and I'm surprised that uh, I mean look they've got most of those contracts for some big some big names they should probably do quite well having said that I've done enough uh, uh, research and I have not invested into them Yes, Capricorn. Thank you. I'm not your dad. Not financial advice. Oh, that's next number five. That's pretty good. Floating colors. Great question. Um, well, first of all, thanks for coming in from Germany. I don't know what time it is over there. How's the prices of electricity? Gas, natural gas. Um, if you have a business, has the price gone up? Because I keep, I'm always curious to see if it's the truth. I've asked many people this and they've said that they are 8X, 10X, 15x price increase. And some people who own business over there in Europe, they say, hey, I can't even keep my business open. I had to shut down. Ah, it's a great question. So Joe says, Robert, he keeps such a fantastic hairline. It's a great question. First of all, it's not that great. I'm getting a little snow on the mountain, as we say. But uh, for this, what I do is, see that this, I, I got a, also a secret. This is not a green screen. This uh, pool, it's cold. And I do uh, laps in there every day. And uh, try not to eat crappy foods. And also a little finasteride, one milligram, doesn't hurt. And that's about it. <laughs> Jason, what happens to VGX shares with stock market? As I understand it, in Chapter 11, all the shares go away. So that will be an issue for the shareholders of a public company. And I'm not for sure on that one. Not legal advice. And definitely not advice because I'm not a... Uh, a bankruptcy lawyer. Sorry. 
Ah, John Velasquez. Oh man, if Ripple or FTX can buy Celsius, that would be great if they keep us as customers. Yeah, I mean, I, the the thing is that I I'm I'm a little bit apprehensive about is there's a lot of people who are in Voyager that really want the Voyager token to continue with its value proposition, which would be a loyalty program. So the thing is with this is you have to understand, I don't know if, if FTX would just say, look, we're gonna just take that VGX loyalty program and just gonna roll it into FTX and it'll be a one-to-one -one swap if you want to or whatever the value is. I think that'd be probably the, the best way. And that could be the loyalty program and they could just roll out a whole new thing. But I don't work for them, so who knows? Golly. Chat dash 69. What? Okay, they're already gone. <laughs> That's funny. No, I mean, no, a great adult as, as we're getting spam. Rob, what do you think of Gala Games? I like Gala Games. I like their games that they have. Uh, was it Spider Tanks, or whatever else it is? I always, you know, if you really want some great information about uh, NFTs and play to earn type of thing, just go watch uh, Crypto Stash. He's got it on lockdown. He knows a lot more than I do. But uh, I own some gala. <laughs> Celsius brand name. Very good one. Joe Mama, you're the best. Thank you. Just learning from Brazil. Gala already blew up. Eh. It's got a long way to go. Uh, oh, here we go. Margaret said it was raising natural gas prices at 1830 euro cents per what? Whew. Wow. Wow. 1830 euro cents per kilowatt hour from 787 cents currently. Man, I think in Texas, we're looking at like uh, around six or seven. Really? It's going to be a crappy winter. <laughs> Thank you all. I guess my 4K is gone. Great question. Sydney Watch Fam says, do you think the US dollar will keep driving the Bitcoin price? Yes. This is a good one. I want to show you guys something. Uh, this is one of the many things I've learned from Ben into the cryptoverse. And he says, and he talks about the US dollar and how it's driven uh, pretty much everything for quite some time. Let me, let me roll out here. Here's the Dixie. And what he talked about, he said, when the price of the US dollar starts to, starts to rise, it starts to crush Bitcoin. And I was like, is that true? So if we can, if we can think back, the last, the last, last bull run, last, 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 was 2013. And in 2013, you know, going more towards this way, look at what the price of the US dollar was for the Dixie. Pretty low, 80.46. But then in 2014, look what happened. A huge spike, 2014 to 2015, a huge spike. And what happened to Bitcoin? Well, it fell. Now let's take a look at 2017. Pretty high. And then it started to go down. And remember when Bitcoin peaked around uh, December 2017? The dollar started to go down as well. And then what happened after that? Around January, February, dollar started to rally. And up it went. And then what just happened in 2021? Well, look at this. Didn't we top out of Bitcoin around April? I want to say April 11th. 2021. That was the first top. Then, of course, the next one was November, I want to say 16th, 2021. But look what happened to the dollar after that. Up again. So, yeah, I can see what Ben was talking about as far as the Dixie driving Bitcoin. As the dollar goes up, it crushes Bitcoin. As the dollar goes down, Bitcoin starts to rally. But I also think that if we take a look at that, four-year cycles, MVRV, MUPL, Pi Cycle Tops, and even uh, uh, different indicators like Fear and Greed Index, I think it's a winning combo. Anyhow, that's my little two cents. What the heck? Floating colors, one liter of petrol is currently a one point dollar uh, ninety euro. So that's like eight bucks a gallon. In the fall, these prices will destroy a great many companies in Germany because yeah, yeah, that's pretty bad. And that's why like people are like, we're gonna moon. You know, this, this rally is sustainable. It's not sustainable. We got a lot of problems, macro events. I'm okay with that. 
as long as you realize that's what it is, like, I can give hopium. I'm pretty good at that. I mean, there was some good news articles in the beginning, right? But I got to tell you the truth. The truth is I don't think it's going to, we're going to rally and everybody's going to go into crypto and digital assets. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. That's why I still dollar cost average, although to a lesser extent and to a lesser variety of cryptos. But I still think that in the long term will be good, but I think it's going to take a couple of years. But is that so bad? Like we talked about in the video on Saturday, is that so bad to be able to dollar cost average for quite some time and then kind of go along the way and take some profits as opposed to, let's say, no, nah, I'm not going to say that. All right. Ooh, what I miss? What we, what we gain the Bitcoin price going down, we lose in the exchange weight with the Aussie dollar. Yeah. Marty says, I feel like GameFi is the easiest track to mainstream adoption, all the microtransactions they have nowadays. I got to agree. The thing is, is that um, I'm not a big gamer, not since Street Fighter, <laughs> when I can plug in quarters into the game itself. Um, but as I understand it, a lot of gamers are against um, play to earn and NFT games because I, as I understand it, correct me, is they've gotten screwed by the gaming companies for this free to play but then they nickel and dime them to death and like, oh, well, if you want an upgrade for a weapon, pay this. Oh, if you want a new mask, pay this. Oh, if you want some new armor, you got to pay this. Before you know it, you're paying way more than what you would have paid for just a regular game. So they're like, now you want to do this NFT type of thing? Isn't the same thing? I, I just don't think that they, first of all, I can see their, their, their issue there of why they don't like that. But I think the bigger, the, the bigger thing is, as far as education is the differences with that NFT couldn't you, if you own the NFT, couldn't you sell that on the market if they allowed it? I think that's, that's the bigger thing. I wish David was here because he could have answered this question. Hey, Rob, what's the difference between sweat and sweat coin? My sweat, he's one-tenth of my sweat coin. I appreciate everything in my life. Well, thanks. I appreciate you listening. Just remember, I get, I get things wrong sometimes. And, uh, and these are just things that I'm doing. It's not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor. Having said all that, sweat and sweat coin. So if you're in America, like myself, uh, there's an app you can download right now. There's a link in the description. And uh, you're gonna get these things called sweat coins, which are kind of like, it's kind of like a rewards program. That's pretty much what it is. And then if you're outside the America, outside, the, outside America, outside of Gary Gensler's reach, uh, you can download a crypto wallet from sweat economy and that is a crypto wallet that you can transfer your sweat coins into the cryptocurrency that is now known as sweat and uh it's been listed in all these different exchanges it's the it's one of the top apps in 51 countries for uh, health and fitness and uh it's done pretty well the thing is the difference between sweat and sweat coin sweat coin again is just like you get this on your phone if you want to transfer it over and uh, get sweat not transfer over, but they give you sweat and crypto. You can do that. And then the sweat coins you can use to redeem for like prizes. Like I bought some earbuds and uh, other people have bought other online stuff. So that's the big difference. Just right now, if you're in America, you can only use sweat coins. Sweat is the crypto. Sweat coin is like the rewards program. That's the best way I can say it. And then right now, it used to be if you walked a thousand steps, you get you got one sweat coin, which could be then sweat. And now I think it's uh, for every thousand steps, you get like a third of a coin, which is why I was harping on everybody to download the wallet and just start walking and you would get free crypto. Essentially, that was what it was. Oh, Trudeau says my mom paid me in sweat coin. That's a good deal. At least she's out there and active. Good for her. Okay. Aussies. Would you let Do Kwon hunt your basement for 100 Bitcoin? Hmm. It's a good question. Well, I don't have a I don't have a basement anywhere, so no. Let's see. <laughs> Crypto Wolf says, no, that's because all blockchain games are trash and just the money grab. Some look pretty fun. Like uh, what is it, Blanco's party or something like that? It looks pretty good. I'm just waiting for the fighting game to come out. <laughs> this is a good one. <laughs> Rob, can you get Big Boy or Richard Hart on DCA with James will be priceless? Would be interesting conversation. I have no problems with either of those guys. Richard Hart is uh, 
very outspoken. Loves the coins, loves uh, hex and such. I'll be need to walk by the time we get airdropped. Sweat coin is what? That's true, because America kind of sucks in this regard. Everything's a security, according to Gary Gensler, except for Bitcoin. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> I've never seen James get mad, honestly. Let's see. Oh, hey, Mr. Dean says, hey, Rob, are you still long-term bullish on Sandbox? Yeah, why not? I still have the two plots. I picked up things. I still have those two plots myself, just waiting to see what happens. That's a very, very long-term play, though. And uh, I put that video out so I can give people a disc. I show them how to get a discount. Right now, you probably get a really good discount. Ronald says, do you think Gary holds Bitcoin? I do believe he does. Sure you can. Well, that is true. Greatest game of all time. I don't have a dad joke for Doquan, but I'm going to look it up later. You can still make money with trash money. That's very true. And Cree Cree, thanks for the super sticker. It's appreciated. How about Insane Clown Posse? I don't know, man. No. Uh, computer protocol. Uh, I don't know about that one. ICP, I think I, I bought it at some hype level and I was like, this doesn't make any sense. It's not going to go too far. That's a, if that does make it, it'll be a very long-term play if they do. Yeah, no kidding. Wake me up when Grand Theft Auto and Call of Duty are play to earn. <sighs> yeah. Mr. Wolf says, move to earn will get its, its time once big news sources get the nod from investors. Yeah, it's true. I always thought the move to earn, the move to earn uh, projects, they should they, they shouldn't reach out to people like me. They should reach out to like influencers who are who are more in the fitness spectrum. They have a, a greater pull for the average person. And I think that's it. I think we're good. I hope that Nancy said probably not. And one's the Charles interview, uh, Charles Hoskinson. So we go back and forth. I'm thinking it's apparently it's scheduled for Friday, so we'll see. I'm not for sure, but uh, I know there's some. I seem like I was a, he's a busy guy, busier than me. So hopefully this week, maybe next week. And that's it. Uh, and again, so Kishi updates. Yeah, Maxi Kwan, the CEO, was given an award for YGG, which is uh, some platform for great for metaverse plays. So that's about it. And uh, everything is uh, tanking. So all of my DGEN plays right now, um, like we talked about. If you don't know, I got a second channel. It's called Dan DGEN. It's, it's, if you really just want to risk everything, and just just a, just kiss all that money goodbye, or essentially. And I've said that many times. But uh, I have a spreadsheet to keep me honest, to keep you honest, keep everybody in the loop. There's a link in the description. And here's the four that I've invested into. <clears throat> and when I did the deep dive. So for Gensu Kishi, and all these, all these projects, uh, they all have lockup periods. So I'm not even, like Gensu Kishi, I got some. Everdome, I got some. Fame, I got some. And Sweatcoin, I haven't got any. And... Uh, because there's different cliffs that you have to go through. So like, I won't get the majority of these for like the next year to two years. That's what keeps me honest. <laughs> but I did get, a, did get it at a good price. And uh, the all time high, if I would have gotten all my Gensu Kishi, I would have been, well, done pretty well. And then for like Sweatcoin, if I would have got all the Sweatcoin, almost 2 million, I would have done pretty well too. But I got to wait, because that's what uh, early investors have to do. Well, like at least me, anyhow. And there's the links for it. But of course, everything's going down now. Da 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 da. So, I'll be here for the night, another couple of years to see how that works out. And that's it. So, look, I think I'm rambling, everybody. So, I just was excited to get back to the to the game of talking to you guys. But that's it. So, look, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Not like YouTube's gonna notify you, but whatever. And that's it for today. So, thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one. Adios, everybody. Good days.